What do we know about the Iran protests? With the internet there effectively shut down, it's been difficult to get a clear picture. DW has verified videos and information and compiled a summary of the events that have taken place there over the last week. Here's what you need to know about the unrest. Nationwide protests first erupted last Friday, after authorities rolled out a sudden patrol rationing scheme and slash subsidies. This sent fuel prices soaring by at least 50%. Though Iran promises to redistribute the subsidy revenue to poorer people, it's nonetheless getting harder for ordinary Iranians to make ends meet. The US decision in 2018 to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal reimpose sanctions and choke off the last remaining sources of Tehran's oil revenue has crippled the Iranian economy. While the protests were triggered by Iran's worsening economic situation, people are also angry about corruption, poor living standards, and social inequality, and they've begun calling for a radical overhaul of the political system. Here, we see demonstrators chanting, Bless Reza Shah's soul, referring to Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the last Shah or king of Iran, known for his efforts to modernize Iran before its 1979 Islamic Revolution. The protests have spread to cities and towns across the country. Posters and buildings associated with Iran's supreme leader have been burned. A theological college was set on fire, as were multiple police stations and cars in various cities. Banks and gas stations have also been set alight. Amnesty International says that so far, at least 106 people have been killed. We believe that the real number may be much higher, uh, given that there is now a total or a near total um, uh, block on access to the internet and uh, many are not able to communicate information about the loss of their loved ones. Uh, we have also obtained eyewitness accounts and corroborated video footage that um, came from inside Iran which shows security forces are using uh, live ammunition and uh, tear gas and water cannons to violently disperse protesters. So all in all, a very severe and bloody crackdown on people who are um, coming to the streets or taking into the streets to express their political and economic grievances. This has been the worst unrest in Iran since late 2017. In recent days, both Iran's president, Hassan Rouhani, and a judiciary spokesman have claimed that calm has been restored in the country. Rouhani blames the protests on the country's, quote, foreign enemies. 